Hello YouTube, this is uh, the Hawks Den, and uh, got another update for you guys. Um, well, me and my mom were driving around, and we went to the Ark, and of course I'm checking the uh, reptiles and the... Uh, invertebrates and whatnot and I see a tarantula that I kept on eyeballing so <laughs> so we left and uh, I kept on thinking about it and thinking about it and I tried to stop myself from buying it and lo and behold I bought it so Hey YouTube, sorry for the short pause, but I'm finally back home and as I was saying, I bought a new addition to my collection. So I already got the enclosure set up. So as I was saying, me and my mom were moving around and we we stopped by the Ark and I kept on eyeballing this tarantula and after we left I kept on thinking about it to the point that I went like I want to get it so I'm gonna show you real quick what I got yeah here is the tarantula that I got from the Ark oh. It didn't exactly have like a scientific name written underneath the common name, but it did say Stripney. So I'm going to assume that it is the Aponopelma simani, the Costa Rican Stripney. There were two of them, but this was the smallest one that they had. And I kind of want to see how these guys grow and develop. I'm not really sure how big these guys get, but I wanted to do something new instead of just doing um, uh, feeding videos of the critters that I have as of right now. So I thought this was a good opportunity to do an update video and plus get a new addition. And even though you could barely see what this little guy looks like through the plastic but just by looking at it it is already looking gorgeous and I can't wait to put it in its new enclosure so that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'll be right back in a few all right here it goes right over there yeah, it seems like this little guy will fit just fine. Just a matter of opening this container without it freaking out. And of course, without me, I'm just gonna open it while it's in my hands. Damn. So I'm gonna open this stupid container. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm excited but nervous at the same time. I've never... Like... Oh, man. So far, it's still staying in place. Um... All right, you can actually see the colors a lot more better now. So I'm gonna, oh man. See in there? Okay. 
Man, I don't know how I should approach this. Okay, this is completely different from the other ones that I've done. So, man, I wish I actually had a second pair of tongs. The plan is to try and coax it forward. Whoop. Okay. Alrighty. Whoa. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Please don't bolt. Where's the damn lid when I need it? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Woo! That actually got me nervous there. Woo! Okay. I'm gonna get the paper towel out of here. Before I make it any more scared than it already is, I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Oh, damn it. Yeah. It's... Focus isn't exactly helping much, but. Oh, sorry. But that's my new addition. I'm going to assume it's going to be the Costa Rican Stripe Knee. And this is my first time actually dealing with like uh, a specimen of this size. So even though probably wasn't the greatest method on how to rehouse it, but it's okay. Maybe a little Ups a little upset with me. Oh, geez. Yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here and let this one situate in its new enclosure. And can't wait to actually show it in the uh, feeding video, which I'll be doing next Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid and let this one situate well that was the that was it for the uh, update video so I was actually wanting to go get one of these uh, tarantulas for quite some time it's just never really had the time nor the money for it and even if I did, it's cool that one of my local pet shops had one of these. So that's even better. So, so yeah. I'm hoping that was the Costa Rican Stripe Knee. Even if it isn't, it's not a big deal. But it seems like I bought the container at the right size for it because you always have to put it in an in a enclosure that's about like twice the size of its regular body length starting from its legs so I mean, even if it's not it should be able to grow into the enclosure and plus it was the only enclosure that I could find that was that had a clear top but 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 yeah but anywho 
that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, me rehousing this monstrosity of a tarantula. I am looking forward to working with it and uh, seeing it grow and develop into an adult. And um, yeah, be expecting the next feeding video on Monday. By that time, this guy would already have adjusted into its new home and should be ready to eat. So again, this is uh, the Hawks Den signing off. You guys have an awesome day and see you next time. Bye.